everyone and a welcome back to all the participants to this second day of the five days international workshop on designing digitally robust research libraries for the 21st century organized by geo institute in collaboration with aicte we will now begin with the first technical session of the second day of the workshop which is the fourth uh, technical session of the overall workshop on the topic smart cataloging and subject indexing using advanced tools and applications by dr manuel raj peter who is the associate director uh, of geo institute libraries dr manuel raj has more than 27 years of professional experience in managing libraries nationally and internationally he has worked in india and saudi arabia in different libraries at various capacities he started his career at cmmc CM, CMMC uh, Vellore India in 1994 later he joined Imam Abdul Rahman bin Faisal University IAU Saudi Arabia as an assistant professor and head of library systems in 2010 he played a major role in establishing the new central libraries and digital library under the deanship of library affairs Imam Abdul Rahman bin Faisal University between 2010 and 2015 He visited USA several times as a visiting librarian in Yale University and Tufts University. He completed his PhD in Library and Information Science at University of Madras and holds several other degrees from various universities. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Tushar, for the generous introduction. Uh, let me share my screen. i hope my voice is clear yes sir yes sir yes sir yes. uh, thank you dr sikmar tushar uh, for the nice introduction and you know today uh, we are going to talk about smart cataloging smart cataloging and subject indexing and using the different tools which is openly available uh, not something like you know we are going to buy some tools to you know build our collection or build our data some, not like that we are going to see some of the tools very few tools that can be used to day to day activity which you can carry it out in your library so today uh, we are going to talk about smart cataloging smart cataloging and subject indexing and using the different tools which is openly available uh, not something like you know we are going to buy some tools to you know build our collection or build our data some, not like that we are going to see some of the tools very few tools that can be used to day to day activity which you can carry it out in your life that's what we are going to uh, see it. you know uh, i would like to bring it to you know what we are going to learn today you know uh, we will make it very simple we are going to see three different tool one is a mark edit another one is a bib data another one is a sotero so you might be think about it what so tero will play a role in creating a market and we will learn how we are going to do that also today i will give you a small demonstration also over the after the presentation so you will all see how we are going to make a date mark data from the bibliographical record which we have captured from the online so another two tools are mark edit and bib data many of you may already used it uh, many of you may be little bit familiar and familiar on it and we will see the you know functionality wise not in the we will not get into the more detail on mark data tagging and other thing we will not avoid it because we, our time is very limited time so we will get into the function how we can extract the data you know how we can harvest the data using the mark edit bib data and the zotero also we will see some of the way of indexing it uh, you know the indexing is two ways happen one for the subject indexing another one is the authority index there are to mark edit especially it will allow you to index the data you know where you can create authority file or the subject indexing in the easiest way not in a very complex way that will also i'll explain going to explain you through the demonstration also you now we will capture the data so when you are you know we have number of uh, reference uh, management tools are available so there is a mendeley is a number of open source uh, uh, bibliographic management tools are there why i choose sotero you will going to see it why i choose sotero to capture the web resources of course mendeley will do some of the capturing of resources online and you need to have a multiple login and you need to have a account on mendeley website 
different things are in, involved. So when you use Zotero, it will be a little bit easier. We are, we are, whatever tools I uh, selected here, it is all very easy to use, not more complex, and everybody can learn it. And this can be, you know, utilized by day-to-day -day activity in your library. Why I'm saying day-to-day -day activity in your library? You know, many in, a, in Indian scenario, many of the time, mark records we are harvesting or we are downloading from different OPACs or different LOC, LC, different, different things, we are able to download it. It is free. And some level, we can able to download from share.vd also. It is there. You can able to download it. You can search by ISBN or ISSN. You can download your mark record straight away. This is pretty straightforward. So you might have some thinking. Is everything available online? Why we need to learn all these things? You know, there are a number of Indian publications available, which majority of them not having the mark record available online to download it. There are a number of institute, uh, leading institutes now building the mark record and they are giving out to the uh, other library for downloading purpose, but not all. So many of them, many of the Indi Indian publication, I can say 70% of the Indian publication, you will not get anywhere mark record. In that case, you know, you may need to create your mark record. You have to build your own mark record. If you, when you are creating your mark record, I, I can see in many institutes or anything, it's not a, you know, not a complete set of mark record. We are not competent with the international standard. Either we will not create the subject index, either we will not have authority index. We will have very minimal, minimal information available in the mark record, and that is close to our cataloging record. When we are sharing it online, the indexing and other thing will be poorly uh, uh, structured, and when we are searching it, you will also get the result in a poor manner. So as a librarian, we need to have a very good strategy how to build our own mark record. Also, how to harvest the record which is already available somewhere in a good manner. So this is all the thing I wanted to cover it today. Even though very short time, I will, as I said, I will not jump into the more detail or more logical way. I will try to approach in a very simplest way so that everybody can understand. Some of you may be very familiar or very good in this all this thing. Just uh, bear with me. You can just allow others to learn so that everybody can learn together and then we can move forward. So market it is a tool, it is a freely available. It is developed by the Terry Rees, one of the developer was developed it, it is openly available. And you know, the installing the market, you need a .NET environment for that. So don't think it's .NET something you have to, you know, it may be complex, nothing else. It is similar to simple software, which you can get it online, it is free. And you need to install it. Same way, there is a market, you know, market it software is available online. You can download it and you can easily install it. Not a very complex thing. It's very, very straightforward. You have to follow the on-screen instruction. You can install this. And this is the website where you can download the mark software, market it software. And it is frequently updated by the developers. There are some people are contributing, especially the Terry is the person he is continuously contributing to this, uh, this tool. And it is every every year it is coming with the new new uh, methods and you know facilities. Another tool is a Bib data. Bib data also is open source. Even though this is listed in the LOC over a period, now some of it is not there, but still it might be a very useful tool. Because why I'm saying this is useful? Number of G3950 ports are ready madely available, and editing that uh, you know C3950 ports will be very easier. Anybody can, uh, like a word file, you can edit it and you can just check whether it is working or not. It is very straightforward. And that's why I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention to make use of it. And this has some multilingual capabilities are there. And of course, we will all use the uh, English version. And in Koha and CC Dynex, and these are the, you know, ILS software already got a very good integration between this software. And you can put it inside also for the, various purposes. We will not see that kind of uh, difficult environment. We'll go with the light mode. Another one is the Zotero. Zotero, you will all know, it is freely available. Zotero, you can download it. And when you are downloading Zotero, you have to go with the web plugin also. Without that, you cannot capture the web resources. Mostly Zotero very comfortably work with uh, Chrome. That's why they put the, you know, even it is working in Mozilla over a period. Now they find it more suitable with Chrome and they replace that sort of Firefox with the Chrome. So that's fine. So these are the two, three tools only. Now I wanted to take you to the demo. So 
let me start with the market deal. Uh, first, we will I'm, I will take you all to the how to harvest the data. Then we'll go step by step. Some of the thing you can see it. If you find it very strong question in between, in between you can interrupt. Otherwise, we'll have a question answer and end up the session. Let me minimize all the screen. This is a market need, version 7.5, and they were updating frequently. And uh, you know, this is the latest version. And this is what the interface is very simple and no complex or anything. It has a tool and other plugin and help. There are a number of help files or contents are available. And I will share you the entire presentation, which will have, have you a lot of links and other things that will be distributed to you over a period. So there is a Z3950 SRU client. SRU, you know, search retrieval URL client, something like that. Huh? So you have a number of port options. Let me, uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the client. Yeah, this is the client. So by default, now the Library of Congress database was selected. And you don't need to be panicked. Not all the uh, marked records will not be available in the Library of Congress, of course. Uh, in this case, you know, uh, market it will give you the flexibility to search different databases, which are available available online, and many libraries are willing to share their record for the public. So those things also you can search and find, and you can add it, and then you can make a search and you can retrieve it. For that, you know, there is an action button over here. You can either you can find it, or you can add a new Z3950 server. Even if you know your library or some other library, you know to you know in some of the library, they are sharing the Z1350 mark protocol. Then you can add those. Uh, if you need to have the, you know, the database server and the port address, those things you have to. You know, if I click, you will need to all this have information. Then you can fill it and you can create it. This is fine. But for this, you need to know all the information. When you don't know information, you can search also. Yeah. Click on find. Any anything you can search, or if, for example, let me search university. Let me search by the name. Yeah. There is a Yale University has they are sharing one of their you no know, through the Voyager and there is a port information seven zero nine zero is their port and there is information. If you wanted to bring this for your search interface or you wanted to add this as your database search, you can just click on it. It will add. Just bear with me some time. You know we are seeing the live demo. It may due to network. It may sometime uh, a bit delay. So you can add it and you can save it. This is also, this is the one way you can search and you can save it and you can retrieve it later. A uh, number of databases available hugely. If you know some university, you can search or you can generally put a university or college or you can search the big list will come. You can select from the list. If you're looking for the management science related mark record, whatever related, those kind of institute you can search and find, identify. They can, you can add it your, and then you can add it your new, new database. I'm not going to add this at the moment. And then you can add new database to that. So it will add, add to the database level. So once you have selected it or you have added search and find, and you have an option to manage the databases. Time you know, I have added three database ones, Library of Congress, another one Stanford, and OCLC for search. Uh, as you all know, OCLC will not provide you all the data free. You have to pay it. So LOC is the only database you can have entire information free and you can download it all the time. We close that. So these are the database available in my market. You can have a number of numerable number of databases you can add it. You can choose whenever you want to select it and you can search. To select the databases, you have to select here, select databases. I'm selecting a library of Congress. Very simple, not very complex. Everybody can do the search. And again, if you if you go here, there is option to search in which way you want to do search the database. On this data, I'm, I have selected Library of Congress databases to harvest the market card. 
and there are keyword options are there titles author subject isbn iss and different informations are available if you know about iss isbn and you can do that if you don't don't know the thing and you wanted to pull some specific subject related then you can search the entire thing for example i am searching i'm searching artificial intelligence you can have a multiple complex you know boolean operator search also if you want to do really execute in that way you can do that otherwise simple search i am doing in a simpler way to show you how to harvest i will do the search it's like it is not selected yeah now selected yeah so yeah uh, there are 20 record by default it will be loaded you can adjust this setting also uh, through the setup area you can have it otherwise it will be by default 20 will be loaded and each record you can double click and check it whether you wanted to use this record as far you wanted to download this record this record is useful to you before downloading everything you can have a view how you can have a view we have to double click it you can have a view the entire tagging system everything you can see if you are happy about it you can download it otherwise if you want to download the entire thing you can download it also let us let me click on the download all item so it will you, let me save it on the desktop intelligence okay it is a msc file by default you can save it so all the 20 records have been saved in the desktop so let us have a look at the mark record how it is this artificial intelligence record is loaded we have harvested selected 20 mark records you can double click on that you know file when you double click on the file when you have installed the mark edit it will take you automatically to the mark tools you know mark editor will not uh, open it will not allow you the mrc file into the direct editing mode so it will convert the MRC to MRK. You know, by de default, it was selected. There are a number of other tools are there, which you can explore it over a period. In other words, it may take time. So it is by default, we are translating to UTF-A. You know, in India, we have, sometimes we have a language material also. By default, make it uh, selected. Execute, it will be 20 records over a period. And then now we can click edit records. When it is a editor, editor mode, this is the mark editor, and each record has a different different tags. All the informations are available, and some of them have a you know DDZ there, there and 050. In this you know some record have a different classification scheme, different different method. This has a DDZ and LOC is not there. LC classification is not there. And some people are using in a different classification scheme. According to your local variation, you can have your one tagging. So these record, once you have selected it, because these records are harvested from online, you know, when you wanted to use it for your library, you cannot use it as it is. You have to edit it a lot with this record. Because in some of the tag, they have adjusted yeah. according to the local need. In that case, you have to see, is there any local tags who are present? Whether this is record is the electronic resource or the print book, print book, print materials, or is a periodical, you have to see all these kind of things. So Mark Editor will give you different way of analyzing these kind of uh, record in a single go. So that is also possible. We, I will show you in a couple of minutes. Then you go through the entire record, how it is uh, you know, structured and delivered to you, uh, whatever downloaded. As I said, you have to carefully see all the tag, whether it is going to be used according to your standard. If it is not there, you have to adjust it. Mark edit also will allow you to edit it in a number of ways. So I will show you in a couple of ways because in other two software, I wanted to say the, uh, show you how the, how the way we can harvest it. Now we have harvested, the mark record is there. You will see that part a little more, maybe another five or five minutes, five or seven minutes later. So let it stop on this level. I will just minimize this tool. Now let us go to the BIP data. So Mark Edit is providing in the simplest way of you know, harvesting the record using the different databases. And you can search and identify the databases. You can select on it. Then you can have a simple search. And then you can download it. That's it. So other tool is, you know, 
the next one is bib data you will see how that that will that is allowing you to talk bib data also it's a easy installation method not very complex it is simple as adobe any normal software you install it both are the same way not a complex one so these are bib data interfaces they have a latest software update in 2021 i'm not sure the latest uh, 2022 nothing has been released but it's it's okay it serves our purpose and when you have an interface there are four tags or tabs are available there is a welcome tab with some additional information there is a search tab and there is editor this editor uh, not not like a mark editor will open another tab for editing here you can edit it on the screen also you can have the log if there is error or anything you can you can see it straight, straight forward so harvesting the data you have to have the search area in the search area by default number of you know z1950 fields are already added database is already added you don't need to add unless like you know uh, mark edit you don't need to add it here it is all already there as i said it is very easy if you want to adjust anything if some of the library they have changed the database from you know pack to unicorn or something like that and the port is changed it is very easy you know just like that you can change anytime it that easy you don't need to strain much so you don't need to create a new databases many databases are already listed here popular catalogs are available also another thing is you no know, here you can have a iaspn search of multiple iaspn like you have a you are creating a for example you put it in a different way for uh, we are also doing sometime in this way we wanted to buy 200 indian books okay and the all 200 indian books do not have the marker cards or somebody has it or you wanted to have search in the multiple library library catalog this is the best one you will co collect all the ispn and you can copy and paste it here in a line by line okay each ispn should be in one line so you can it will allow any number of ispn copied as you to make a ispn list in the uh, text file copy and paste it here and select whatever database you wanted to search just click search it will search in each and every database is what you have selected and it will bring you the result that is another easiest way so another way of doing you know you can filter by databases so this filter filtration are you know it is a huge list I'm browsing through that list sometime you may not get it so they have given a little bit easiest to browse through it if you wanted to do that you can do that i'm not going to do anything i'm going just to, i'm going to tell you how to import that account so i don't have any isbn i will search anywhere do a, okay okay i will not type to any complex keyword i just typed art and some of the database i have already selected i'm going to give you a search as soon as you click a search i have selected you know the corner library and it was selected i have selected a few more library already by default i have selected in my system and it was searching loc also it first completed the kernel then it is went to loc and you know when i am searching i have limited to 10 that is why 10 10 rec records were retrieved if this this setting has been adjusted you may have a numerous number of amount you know this art is a very common keyword everywhere will be present so by default what you have said you can come back the same setting will be available as it is so so the 10 record 10 to a 10 record from loc 10 record from kernel were downloaded you click here all the entire mark field and other thing is visible as i already said you know sometimes you have to adjust the record you know if suppose in this case for example i cannot give you more example on mark tag and other thing because our uh, you know focus is in something different even then if you wanted to edit it for this uh, case library kernel you know there you see there is a 856 this is a electronic resource marker card you can convert the you can download the e books uh, marker card you can adjust it as a print book no problem at all but you know when you are doing it you have to adjust a little bit in the later information and some adjustment of with the sum of the tags especially 856 this one especially leading to the e book area this they have a subscription to the e book central resource if you leave with this tag and you up upload it on your library catalog everybody will see this link and when they click it will take you to the kernel website it will your library catalog lead the lead the people to the kernel website we don't want that to happen so 
This is the simplest example. Same like other tag, if something they have mentioned like the acquisition tag. There are number of libraries following the local acquisition tags where they will inform there are acquisition mark, uh, acquisition ordering they are using through the mark. In that kind of library, they store their entire uh, acquisition information on one of the tag. They usually go with 959, 960, 962, something like that. In that case, if that tag is present and you have ignored it and you put it in Kohar anywhere and you go in library and mode, that will be visible to someone else. And they know this is copied from the copying is it's okay, copy get lock, but you have to adjust everything according to bring it to your local library standard. That's what I'm mean. so in this case, uh, Bib data, it is very easy here. Unless you can simply select that, you, you know, you can delete it. Not very complex. Select and delete. Uh, you can delete. Wow, my button. I'm just pressing the delete key and it is. No, you can delete that. Not all. Yeah, we have removed one tag, then you can save it. You know, when you can save, do you want to save the changes? Yes. Now we have saved this record on your PC, then you can export it. When you wanted to export it, not something like market, it will give you the down bulk uh, upload. In the, here, you need to have a selection. Whatever record you edited and edited, or you wanted to, uh, uh, you know, import it or export it from this database, so you have to select. Then you go here, edit, and then ex export records. I have selected only five records. So, okay, this is the big data. Let it be like that. So the record is there on the desktop. The same record can be also edited in the market edit. You no know, market edit has a other function, look, we can have your validation and other things. This bib data, mostly I suggest recommend you to use for to harvest the red data and small, small correction and addition, you can do it. If you want a very complex editing kind of thing, or you wanted to create authority file, or, or you want to insert some of the subject editing, then I recommend you everybody to use the market. So this is the second one. So other way around, you know, uh, when we are, other, other tool is, uh, you know, Zotero. You may be all thinking, you know, how what Zotero will do to create the mark record. We are not going to uh, have the mark record as it is. You know, Zotero will not give you a mark export or anything. It will give you a simple Excel file, and the Excel file can be converted into mark record. That is what we are going to use the mark edit as a providing the beautiful features that you can convert your Excel file to mark. So let us also see that harvesting method. Then we will jump into mark edit for further. Uh, demonstration. Before open the Zotero, always I recommend before and uh, before starting, you want to do keep open the Zotero software for your work before doing the work, doing uh, uh, you wanted to capture the online resources. So this is my Zotero. I have a, like a lot of, uh, you know, a different, different uh, top, topics related information. I have harvested from different, different international universities. You know, why I harvested? I wanted to sum up the standard, you know, standard, even the standard universities, they are not providing C3950. And I wanted to have some of their record for the building the collection. You know, why, how I have built the collection? We will take a lot uh, leading institute of uh, mark record and the catalog information We'll compare it whether these books are available throughout these many libraries. Now, if it is available, something we cannot take it as 100% worthwhile that what to buy that book. But you know, some sort of criteria. This may be one of the good book we should have in our library. So that's what we have. Uh, you can see in many folder in my uh, Zotero. For the our work, workshop purpose, I created one folder. You can also create any. You know, if you right click and you can create new collection or anything. Very easy, easy, not not at all uh, difficult. difficult. Uh -huh. Circling as usual, <laughs> technological barrier. Uh, let us wait for a minute. Yes, yeah. ACT workshop I have selected. 
so why i selected this folder where you wanted to store the information that folder you have to select and keep it so let me go to the chrome now i am going to show you that i am i will go as a stanford university catalog stanford as a z39 portal is available you can use it you know for example i am saying not only the catalog you know some level some of the you know publisher pages can also be stored in the zotero as long as it is a bibliographical standard information available zotero will identify this information can be captured if it is it fall into according to their standard it will give you the highlight you know this is the zotero plugin it is i'm not i have not explained you how you have installed another thing but i have shown you how to download and install it all are very simple when you have install the plugin you will see the this kind of button this is a zotero you know see my arrow this is the button where you can see now the uh, now the color is slightly different because this says this page cannot be stored anything there is no information in this page that zotero can store so let me do a small search digital media so there are 66000 information available so you can have a filter each library catalog has a different method of approach and you can have the filter according to their style when you are going to harvest you have to play with your standard only you cannot adjust their website so there are number of information available i am not going to see the, those kind of uh, information now you can see the button is changed to different color as a folder color so that means this page information some of some of the information is according to the zotero bibliographic standard you can capture it so now what to do you just click on the button you know in this page we will see how many records are available there are 20 records so here uh, once we stored it only we know how many records we stored it so let me have so there is option you can select one by one or you can select all also if you wanted to capture the entire page information i am going to select with select all click okay so it will start storing it you can see you know it is going one by one it is just harvesting one by one so you might have some question there is only 20 record why why not if you have a 50 or 60 whether zotero will do it yes it will do it in our selection criteria now this page has only 20 information that's why it's the 20 if it you are having a display of 50 100 200 so there will capture the everything everything available on the page so that, so there is no limitation at all of course if you go more than 1000 or 2000 there is a slight you know lagging on downloading the information will be there and sometime this you know, button will fade away then you have to refresh and you have to download this is the only problem we face i face it over a period otherwise it is okay so now we'll go to go back to the zotero you see all the 20 record whatever capture it is here okay it is there if you select that the entire information available the only you know drawback here when we are converting from uh, zotero to excel and then excel to mark you will not have lot of information you no know, lot of information in the sense many subject heading you may miss you know see here whatever available on their website we have captured like this as no archive information no no you know there is even sometime no call number uh, no volume many informations are missing so uh, for nothing we can have something to do it start with it then we can build up the mark record according to our standard we can insert the bibliographic record then we can insert the subject heading we can enhance our uh, record then we can make it more perfect then we can put it in our library card so this are the record now how we can take it out to take it out is very simple no need to do anything no selection nothing select right click and export collection and when you click export collection many of you already experience this kind of information don't think this is very basic and many of you may may, may not be did like uh, all this kind of practices please carefully see this may helpful for your day to day activity in your library if you are especially you are handling with mark 21 other thing and you don't have the all mark record you are going here and there you, then this is one you have to catch it so see here there is a csv you can have a number of other styles also available we are not bother about anything we need only csv you can click on that and then you go with bom or 
uh, even UDFA also is buying. fine, no problem. Without BOM is also very good. You know, some of the other special character, some of the other unknown information can be avoided. So I'll click OK. It will give ask you the path. And I'm saving in the desktop. Done. So let me go to the desktop and this is our record. Yeah. So the records are here, which we have exported from uh, uh, big data to I uh, know uh, Zotero to here. The Excel file, it has a different, different information. You don't need to, this all information, many of the information not required for your marking card. You know, whatever not required, you can simply delete it. Delete it, then you have to create the file like major, majorly what you need. You will need definitely the item type or center publication year, author, title, publication, you know, what is this? Publication title, ISBN, ISSN, some of the URLs, DOI links, and you know, publication years. If there is a pagination, paginations are very important, and the publishers, those information, whatever more relevant for your mark record, that field alone you can take it. Remaining all you can select and simply delete it. For your convenience, I made one more Excel file. If I show that how to delete and add the tags, it will take quite a long time. So I will I have prepared one file, small sample file for you all that I can show you. Uh, there is a record. I prepared small two, two or three sample files so that, you know, so after exporting a record from the Zotero, you can prepare like something like this. You know, in the first line, you can see it is mentioning about the tag. So $020 uh, dollar A. That means the tag 020 is a field A I'm giving to mother this ISP. And 82, there is a call number. In many cases, you know, when you are loading it from the OPAC, and Zotero will not capture the call number. In that case, this will, this will not be there. Leave it empty or you don't need to have that. Later on, you can construct your yard, you can create your call number through the market. Data. And this is the title, author and the title, you know, the title additional information, A, B and subfield, so on. All the team, uh, fields and then the main tag and the subfield information you have to assign it on the first level, first line. First line, that means column A, A1 or no, that, you know, that range, the first level, you have to mention it. This tag information will help you to, when you are exporting using the market, it will be a greater help. There are two ways it will help you. Either you know this information belongs to this category. Another way, when you are comparing it or when you are creating the tag automatically, it will help you. I hope this is, this is easily understandable, not a very complex thing. Only the tag and the subfield you are giving on the top against each of the information. The 020 dollar game is, you know, it is understandable as ISPN. And there are some subject headings also there, 650 A, B, C, or something is there. You can have that. So I will close that. And this also will close it. Let me go back to the market. Edit. I'll close this also. Uh, Mark Edit has a peculiar habit, you know, every uh, session when you open it, it will open the new window. And so sometimes you may have two, three windows. Don't be, uh, you know, think that there is some issue. It's all open source, you know, there will be one or two, which it, it, it will be there here and there. So, but you can simply close it and you can carry forward. I know I, you are seeing, no, I, I'm closing two or three extra windows. That doesn't matter. You can close it. It is, it will not give you any trouble. So now we have seen there are three ways we have harvested. One using the market, edit, another one is a big data, another one is a Zotero, and Zotero market card is not straightforward. And we got some information. Now we wanted to convert as a mark, mark file. So now we, we are getting to that point. Now mark edit has a very beautiful feature. Many of you maybe already used it. If you are not used it, you can see it. I'm repeatedly telling the same thing because some of them are already very much familiar on this. So there is option, you know, delimited 
text translator is a mark editor it is providing it is one of the tool available in that you can go and the tool also you can select it or if you select it on the home screen you can uh, you know choose the option from that when you click that you will see the screen like this you know one is the source file another one is output file source file where the excel file we have created i have a sample file as i said already created when you select it it will be nothing because it is a text you know it can it can convert excel as excel as x also you no know, text file main it should be the tab eliminated if it is not then it will give you a problem i go i suggest you to go with the excel as file so that will be better uh, no csv file it is better so this is a csv file i'm selecting the one i created for the sample i have selected um there is a sheet two one sheet one is there only one sheet available in that excel file that came by default automatically and i want to have output file uh, by default the will give you the mrk only mark the mrk file is automatically edited one okay i'm giving you any file name click save so now we have selected a source file and have defined the out, output file also and it is from the the information available on the sheet one there are delimiter available i am going to use as a tab if you have some other delimiter you can use it as a you know a little bit tricky and if you may miss miss out some other if you are start off go with this method tab all i am explaining are the easiest method available if you have a complex thing there are a lot of things to do in the marketing so we will not touch anything i'm leave with edit but i recommend you to everybody to edit it you know there is a option here edit ldr you can always edit it you know when we are converting if you are especially creating the book record you select book or if you have any other information you want to create the mark record accordingly you choose and click okay we are not mostly following the unimark standard in any of for india as of my understanding uh, so i leave it uh, unchecked the unimark one but i select the book one then all you have to do it click import so once imported click import the record is not imported we are jumping to the defined translation area where as i say you no know, first line it is giving you what is the field this should be mapped now we have to do the small mapping of this record these column information where it should go mark edit has a little bit flexibility and easiest way you can have you can add here also like field do zero for your understand understanding purpose i am explaining this otherwise there is a easiest way may are doing that also possible both you can learn it 020 field 20 is field zero is there field zero and that is a 020 and dollar a indicator always double slash trunk uh, term term punctuation mostly suggest you to go with the dot it is better to have a argument dot so there are many things are there we will not jump into those kind of follow very we will go with a very simplest way there are two option over here there is one constant data another one is a repeatable sub, sub field what is a repeatable sub field when you want to have a too many information for example 245 has a two field if you have not selected this repeated sub field and that you know 245 uh, tag will be created on your mark record twice like 245 a and one line and 245 sub field b in another line in that case you need to do all this thing so 020 is only one i am not going to select that and click add argument it will go here so like this every column where you have to map this mapping you have to do it little bit uh, you know tds to do one time but once you made it you can you can save it also you can save your uh, template then later on you can use it back if you have standard thing otherwise another option they have you no know, auto generate i will click auto generate you know it is very easily generated because we have given the tag information on the first level first line so mark data mark it it will automatically identify this picked you know, this is one extra because that i have created you know that is what it is it was it happened so that is why it is twice so so don't do that when you are doing like that it was twice created because i have created then you click auto generate it is loading the everything or if you save if you save the previously used template you can load it from your template also you know where you are or i hope i have uh, some template uh, no 
Yeah, there is one template I have already used. You can load it from your template also. So, so when you are loading all these things, no, every time if you are loading twice or thrice, here also you add also data generate, then there is a possibility of multiple arguments. So don't do that. So I will close again, I will come back in this case because I have selected uh, you know two, three options. You can you can this is a, another opportunity for you to see repeatedly uh, sample files select with all files records open then i have edited the data information to the book information click ok and import all are came do you have the option to select on one by one and i'm going to show you the auto generate it is generator auto generator all the tags are all the fields and map properly here only one thing you have to do it before completing your creating your mark record one is that if you go down wherever you find two fields select these two fields nothing you don't need to uh, click control or alter nothing just mouse click one click it will select automatically once selected right click and you say join it okay so this will go into the same line not in the two or three different area also this also will join it so all will go on the same line when you are auto generating this problem will be there you have to do it in this way only Sir, sir, I have a query, query here. Myself, GP Tripathi. Yes. May, may I ask? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. Tripathi Ji. Uh, yeah, I have a query here. Uh, in case of, uh, suppose we are importing a record with multiple accessor numbers of the same title. Yeah. So is there any shortcut uh, where we can accommodate all the uh, accessor number under one title through Mark Edit? Uh, we can we can uh, do it there there is a different way of doing it you know uh, i was doing once uh, you know there are three lakhs uh, three or four lakhs record okay. and uh, we want i wanted to compile the entire i don't want to uh, see my pattern to see the print and electronic in a separate mode why i choose that option you know uh, when we are having a catalog so we have we have, we are many we as a library many times tend to lose the electronic mark record to put it in our catalog. Some of them are doing. I I agree, but when we are having it as two separate record, when somebody the book available the print book is limited nowadays. When the books is not available, they don't know there is an electronic copy unless otherwise they search and explore it somewhere else. So to avoid these kind of confusion, I wanted to create both together. So I made a, you know, there is way of compiling it, you know, uh, as you have maybe explored it, you can individually edit some of the tags, you know, edit, edit when in the mark editor, there is, you have one of the record, then you extract some of the, for example, you have a set of file of the electronic mark record, and you have a set of file on the print record, and there is a match point of the ISBN, and in that case, ISBN will not match because E and print are both are different. If you are a library cataloger and you have a, um, a bibliographic record or the control number ID where we can match it, that is also well and good. And that is also not matching in many cases. Many people have a two different, different control number and they are not bringing it under the single uh, bibliographical record for both the information. That is also a problem. So where you have a match, match point, either you go with the author and title or the edition or something like that. So in that case, you have to match with those kind of criteria. Then you insert the particular field either vice versa. You can insert the electronic information to the print one or the print one to the electronic. Make it a unique, 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 unique record. Then you put it. In. I I was I was um, I was using Circe Dynamics Symphony. In that as a different feature, then you can have a incorporation with the different record. You can play it on it. I hope Koha also similar feature available. Yeah, uh, and you, are, you can merge it in, and you can merge and edit with a particular field also. And then you can hear, have a very good, beautiful view for the user to feel it, you know, good. When the print is not available, they always, they always there is a link for, you know, electronic also available. Click on it. Don't miss the electronic version to read it. 
So this is a very good question, but you know, they, this is how it works. And mark edit has a little bit limitation also. And if you have a later version, has a different other options available. Uh, I have not that detailedly explored, you know, explored here, but I'm, yesterday I was seeing it. There is option you can edit it also. Um, I can explain it here also, but it may take a little bit more time. We sure. will focus on it, and we will discuss definitely discuss in later period. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Ji, for asking this uh, beautiful question. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, so let us come back now. You know this is compiled and it is there. Now the argument is done. Now what you have to do, you have to just click finish. You know, it was created. It is saying process has been finished. Record saved to the in the desktop. It is done. So let us open and see the mark record. How it this looks like? This is a mark record because this is a MRK. It will not show the mark rule. It will directly open. So, you know, even with the join, this is the record what we are doing. So when we even we joined it, six fifty I missed it. No, six fifty I missed to join some of the that. You know, you know, two forty five joined. Why not? <laughs> some of them are not joined properly. Maybe I am in a hurry to click it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let leave it like that. You see here when you join, it will happen. You know, the same clearly A and B is are available. If you miss that, it will not be there. So it is created, you know, the mark records are ready. You know, do you think this mark record is that much uh, you know, competent to uh, compete with the international standard? Absolutely not. You know, there are a number of other uh, tags are involved and a number of other information. Of course, 650 has a uh, some level of uh, keywords are there, there. But, you know, the call number and some of the additional authority index, many things are missing. Of course, you can add it. Or else, if this much information only available on your hand, you are well to go, well to go with your importing into the catalog. Then, when the book on your hand, then you have to add all other information. When you don't have the information, only you can create maximum of the subject. And the mark edit will provide the another. You know, it will check with some of the leading indexes. If the index is matching with that keyword only, it will pull you automatically. Will give you the keywords. If that is not matching, you will not get in Texas. In that case, you have to do it. And always we have a constraint on Indian material, Indian printed material on doing this. Because it is not available, it is not you know, on par with the, some of the uh, mark record not shared internationally, then we need to have our own keyword. We have to add it. But the title is good enough to capture it. Like, for example, you know, here, Applied Artificial Intelligence. Something like this as a, a title, it is good because that keyword can be matched with anywhere and you can it will bring very good uh, keyword list for your mark records. And authority index, you know, it is not very complex. It is based on your authors provided. If you have multiple authors, it will be indexed accordingly. In some system, we'll accept authority uh, mark, file, mark file as a separate one. Some it is inbuilt. And I, my recommendation go along with the mark. It will be better to put all the relevant information along with the mark record. Or if you want a very complex system or we are, we are having a handling the bigger system, I recommend you to create the authority file as a separate and load it. So the, you, for example, you are going with a four lakhs record or six lakhs record. You better to have the separate authority file, then put it in your system to avoid some load issue on your system to index the whole mark record which you have loaded over a period. Or you are, you are uploading one lakh record on your system. The indexing may take some time and you know, it may, and create some trouble on your system. That kind of time only you can consider uh, to generate authority in a different way. Let us go some more detail. I hope we have some more time. <laughs> Since we are seeing a demo, a bit taking time. But I thought it will be very useful. So here, Mark Edit, there are a number of tools are available. There are plenty of tools are available. We will go with one by one. Uh, for example, you go here. The file, there are a number of compiling, compiling file into Mark is available. You can compile this. And you can export it and you can import it. And there are many options, very basic information. We will not bother about it. If you go to the edit, you come down, there are a number of options. You know, as for uh, Tripathi ji was uh, correctly asking, you know, how to do the, that kind of editing. Here, insert edit, you know, some of the things you can do it. Um, now, these are the leader information editing. You can have your complex editing of your leader, that is possible. Uh, I'm not showing everything because it will take time. 
So I'm quickly showing some of the options. You can explore it over a period. There is an edit in a 006. 006 is available. And you know, interesting keywords, shortcuts are there. And mark it, the ALA character set is there. If you want to set up your mark card according to that standard, you can have. Otherwise, all other detail, you know, uh, to adjust the, some of the setting, preference is always good. You know, number of options are over here. You know, how you are setting up your preference, that way only your mark editor, editor will use. Why I'm showing this, some of them are very much advanced user. They can play with this area, especially with the mark rules when you wanted to validate your mark record. Or somebody using the big frame uh, or mark editor in a different way, you can set up your very logical setting over here, then you can use it. Or you want to have ILS integration, you can do that also over here. Let us, I will, let me go to the, uh, you know, to the reports area for your, you know, report why it is useful. You know, when you have a number of records, you don't know what kind of information available. We can very quickly see why generating, generating the record. There are 14 records, all are books. That means this information pulled out from the leader information, not from anywhere else. It is saying all are book record. If you have a periodical or something else, it will give you very quick report. It will, these many records belongs to serial, these many records belongs to, uh, you know, uh, electronic resource, these many um, records are belongs to print books, something like all the, all the reports you can, uh, you can get it in a single click. Also, you have a mark validated. Mark validated, as I said, you have to adjust a little bit the rule in the reference area. You are very, if you are very good, on, I'm not going to apply and show you, uh, just I will show you for your understanding. If you click on the edit rules, the rules is very complex. You need to have a little bit more understanding to play around this file. If you are very good, uh, these rules file need to be adjusted according to your library stand. You know, each library has their own way of uh, structuring their data. This is from the Terry Reads, mark edit rules by default. What would be the standard practice? If you don't want to uh, jump into that, you want to do edit anything, you can just simply follow the standard. This is a standard one uh, created by Terry Reads that can be used, you know, standard practice. When you click it, it will say, you know, validate record structure. You can validate your record. So it will give you a lot of suggestion on your work record. If you are carrying out or fixing those suggestions, your record will be more, you know, qualitatively improved. That's what it will do. Uh, this, if I jump into this, it will take again more time. I'm not going to explain that fully. Another one is, you know, validate ISPN, I, you know, that kind of information. The another one is validate heading. Validate heading, there is a service status is there. You no, know, it will say when you are heading, it will check number of, uh, you know, valid heading, Libraries are already linked. That will just check whether your connection, your internet connection is providing facility to connect those kind of thesaurus or you know, indexing system or anything. If all are okay means, you know, many are um, online. You know, even my system is allowing just for the information purpose. If something is not working, then you have to do all this kind of. Otherwise, validate heading. You just, you can, you know, validate heading. You will have the freedom to do some of the things. You can, you can create authority file, you know, from one series to our one series and seven series. If there is an editor or, you know, some other information, we try to put it in a, some other some other area, not in the one series area. We may put it in seven series. Some people even have it in the six series or somewhere else. So they have flexibly given all these series, wherever the other information or edited information or the kind of different kind of information, you can pull it out and you can and edit it and you can bring it up. Or you wanted to download the LC authorities. LC, if you want to go with the very standard one, you can go with the download the LC authorities. So the authorities related to that particular author, if it is matched, uh, again, you have to be very careful a little bit. You know, some, you know, I'm, my name is Manuel, then some, the name variation will be Manuel B, and some may say Manuel B Raj. So there will be a name variation. But if LC is indexed in one particular book author in a different way, and we are having a different author name in our mark record. When you are pulling the data, it may pull the wrong authority index also. So you have to be a little bit careful. So of course it will bring you all the authority index. You know, we are bringing it from somewhere else, not by creating on our own, but at the same time you have to be careful. And once you are created, you have to go through everything and make sure all the authority was created was perfect. 
that's how this function will work also you know the tools area there are number of options is there one of the very uh, useful thing you know generate call number you can create generate call number the creating call number there are you know add to all record there are call number there is here in my record there is a 0.82 is there let us see one of the call number lcr okay uh, so you can choose lcr or dv uh, decimal ddc classification and you can choose subject option and you know what kind of subject option you wanted to add a fast heading it will be added here be careful when you are adding it when you are selecting that you have to be familiar you are going to you are accepting something it will be added in your mark record then you cannot do, you cannot do that you know control z kind of thing you cannot go back be careful when you are doing it so select this what kind of classification you want to do what kind of subject mapping you want to do it if you want to add it really if you then if you don't want to add any heading on your record leave it blank it's fine perfectly and leave it uh, here you don't want to have a if you have a very particular with some particular tag you want to insert your call number then you can mention 050 060 there is a flex there you know optional they have given we don't want to do just for a, a practice purpose i'm just clicking classify let's see how many is already there is a call number is available i don't think it will create it let's see Uh, when you have a huge record, it may take some time. You have to be a little patient. You know, call number found and inserted seven, because we are using uh, you know uh, out of there are twelve record, twelve or fifteen record. Only seven found to be suitable and it is inserted. Where it is inserted? Let us move around and see. Ah, because you use zero ninety as a uh, call number insertion. You know, when I am doing, I have not adjusted it. The call number. I left it with the same option. Ninety. I have not changed it. So it was the call number was inserted here. It is there. It so is along with the cutter information. It was loaded. It was bring up. It was classified very promptly. So how it is classifying? So it is classifying based on your title keyword or subject keyword. If you don't have a very good keyword, and you know not all the time this classification will go correct. The, whatever I, I am explaining, it is a very quick way to put uh, put the call number in. Then the library as a library, you have to verify everything once again before putting into the system. Otherwise, you know, sometimes very rarely, in a very rare case, the uh, classification can, scheme can go wrong. Like for example, this will go as a happiness, and what is the title? Japanese secret of long. Both are it is matching the theme. In some say some uh, time, the first or some of the keyword is different from the title. And it can pull you some other uh, call number also. So be careful. So this is how you have to uh, create the call number. Also, you know you can create the cutter also. You can create the cutter tools also. So you can insert all record. You can create the cutter tools. You know what is this? Some other record came. Let me close. Some other option opened. So generate cutters. So here I am going to create cutter for zero eighty two. Zero eighty two. You can see here there is no cutter. Let us try for cutter creation. You are all used to you know what is cutter. You know very familiar. I don't need to explain that. You know cutter. I am going to take it from one series and two series. I am not. Uh, no, the order of series. I'm, I am. I wanted to consider first one series as a first. If there is a one series is not available or. I can say author is not available. Then the cutter can be taken it from the title series. That is one series and two series. That's what I mean. Now I click process. Bingo. It's done. You can see see here zero eighty two cutter information is created. Why it is nine 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 nine? Because there is no call. Uh, no, there is no year present or some. Well, it is wait, wait, it is present. So the author and then the, this one you see it is, it is a, a, as I say it always. You have to be a little bit careful. You know, see the cutter information is very perfect, and the uh, year is nine nine nine. In this case, you know, everywhere it is posted like that. Some of the settings we need to be adjusted before applying these kind of settings. Otherwise, you know, it is very quick, and you can make you can classify the entire record. For example, you assume you have a five hundred mark record. You want to classify in a go. You make a little bit adjustment of setting another thing. You can do it. Too. You can save lot of time in this way. So this is how you have to create the call number and the you no know, uh, cutter information. 
also you know you can do the record deduplication de linked data do something you know bulk linked record that i will not focus on at this moment and you know some as i said you know if you are on a large scale of library you, you are already following some control number you can insert your control number for example control number can be mostly go with 001 some people putting in 949 you know along with the accession number or the you know, item id they will put it mostly it will go with 001 for example you have already library it has a control number it is for example uh, 98765 i am saying uh, this is the my last control number available in our library catalog now i i am going to input, uh, insert all this record in our, in my system i want to create the control number many system will provide to create automatically control number will be generated like the standard system in some of them in indian scenario some of the standard uh, system will not provide creating the control number by uh, when you are importing into the ss in that case only this is applied not all the standard system that will automatically create anyway the control number in that case only you need a uh, control number creation so i will say start digit by one along with this so it will incrementally increase insert always generate in current file or uh, always insert i will say uh, okay click okay you can see here 001 all the i am started with 1 2 3 control number were created in all the record so imagine if you are adding this in one by one in all the, it will take a long long time and we are shaping our record slowly according to the standard that is one of the option then there is a we will skip this at this moment and the record deduplication also available you know but you can can if you have a multiple records in very rare chance you will have the same bibliographical record twice and if you by default you insert it in then it you will have a same two bibliographic records for the same book for avoiding that you can do the deduplication it will check there are again there is a preference setting is there you have to go there and what are the criteria need to be checked for checking the deduplication rda hel helper is there something you know you can create your RD rda field these are the you know rda field something you know you don't think rda something is extraordinary that nobody can do it this easy some of the additional field you have to add it in a proper way and this record some of the field adjustment in the preference if you have, if i have not adjusted anything if you go with that it will be apply with some of the you know un unused but i can show you how it is in inserting you can just see but may not be useful because the dad information will be something different I'll just click you add rda process has completed you see number of additional field may be inserted for 337 this is one of the rda field rda media so you know uh, media something you know it is not a proper uh, term because we have not applied any criteria we just applied i just showed you how you can insert the rda uh, criteria just keep it this is not a good way of doing it uh, there is another way to adjust it so then there is a you know this we have seen how you can there is a some marks how we are when we are uh, harvesting it transliterate we are not at all using it um, of course there is no other indian language at the moment is available and i was using mostly for the arabic when i was working in the middle east so i will use the transliterate in many of the record it is very beautifully do that transliteration it will have a very good field in every record so those who cannot, who cannot able to read the arabic they can also read the transliterate to see the title what was the title something like that so that can be used and there are additional field is there something i will skip it because the time is the big constraint and then we will go down and uh, let me a little bit say about the harvest from oai and uh, you know this a oai harvest method also available is so one of the harvesting method and if you have all the server detail and set name and everything you can go with dublin core or mods or mark to given xml different methods are there you can import it and you need to be explore in this different way of doing it you need to learn little bit about this uh, learn means nothing complex you need to know all the criteria what you have to put it here that's it um let me also show you yeah 
you know you can create uh, the mark from the url also that can be possible from this uh, level but i recommend not to do that you know you have to, when you click that you will ask if for one it is all one by one process i don't want anybody to do in that way so don't do that but, but of course if you wanted to have a, create one mark record for one of the website you can you can say it is electronic record something like that you can create it let me go back to the okay that's fine now i wanted to show the authority file creation mm. let me close this file and save and let me compile this let me close it and we'll come back so you know once you did it you can simply compile the record and save it in the desktop so it is compiled once it is compiled then you know the record is ready it is saved it is in a MRC mode, and if you wanted to edit it again, you have to convert it as a MRK. But it, that is very easy, as you have seen. You know, that can be done. So here, there is another option. If you go here, Mark Processing Tools are there. You know, they, this I wanted to bring it to your attention. You know, there is a this you cannot see it on the Mark Edit. That's why I closed it and I brought it brought you back here. There is a Mark Processing Tools are there. You can have a number of you know. LC subject heading, you can create your subject heading. You have a fast way of uh, creating the heading. This may not be present available in the market editor, but you have to come through the main page to see all this option. For example, when you wanted to create the subject heading, uh, let me go with the LC subject heading. We have to select the file. Let me go to the desktop, just mark this. Yes. Okay, then we can save file. Uh, let's see. Mark is MRC. Okay, you have selected nothing to do with that. No, no, nothing extra. Just click process. It will take a couple of minutes to down, complete it. And it is saying, you know, process completed. A total of 18 subjects have been inserted. That means some of the uh, key keyword being in, inserted from LC according to the LC standard. Let's go and see the record. Mm -hmm. You see here, there is a first record as a little bit of internal problem. You know, what is the big difference in library as a library? Every dot is make sense you know you see here there is a our existing record don't use one dot and there is a one dot identified from lc that was inserted because it is not recognized this is artificial intelligence and there is no dot this has a dot so it, it's found to be it is a the lc was the market editor was considering that something is not available let me insert it it was inserted so otherwise every area you can see some more additional keyword will be inserted so these the keywords are not stuck not on our own. It is by the standard uh, terminology. It is pulled out from the international thesaurus or international subject indexing. It will automatically brought all the information. And it is very, if you, otherwise you are thinking, thinking on your indexing on your own, you may miss out number of keywords on your market. Account. So this will drastically affect your OPAC search. When you are searching something, if you missed out, for example, computer algorithm, and when you are searching it, these records may not be visible to the user. And you may have the very book, very good resources in your library that you are missing to show on your user user side. So that's how these uh, making the mark record as good as possible. It is always advisable. Let me close it. So you have seen, no, it is very pretty straightforward. Nothing to do anything more on doing that. Very very simple. Go here, and you need to have the mark file. Go here, generate fast editing also available. You can generate call, call number even from here. That is also possible. And you know, 
as usual uh, open source has some limitation you know the editor don't have this kind of information when you come back to the main screen you have a different information and rda helper also is available and batch processing records you can use it you know you can use a batch processing at the moment we will not see that and and in the utility there are number of way you can convert the record you know, you know verify url xml editor different different functions are there that you can use it use it then yeah so i think we have already 6:30 uh, i should stop at this moment and uh, uh, we have seen no no uh, let me put it again in a good way we have tried to see in a three different tool to harvest the record in a simplest way and then we have captured some of the record using the zotero and then then we have uh, converted the entire record to the march standard and we try to apply some of the uh, indexing method or anything indexing method we, we can jump into authority also let us have it you know, some more time you know, that, that will take another um, i think some time so i'm anybody wanted to have more interaction or more, wanted to know more more about this then we can have always chat on a coming period or any time 